And then I know that once you get the record deal, that's when the hell starts, you know? Here I am, signed, and I'm signed to this amazingly handsome guy. What are the chances of a Memphian being in this big building in New York City and signs another Memphian and he's gorgeous with white teeth? Oh my God, this is my husband. So we immediately started spending a whole lot of time together. Um, we ended up falling in love, being together. The record label was completely against it. And I started to see that my career wasn't moving because I have mixed business with pleasure. I started to see some things within this relationship that um, were a lot. Um, I remember even speaking to his own mother and she told me to not date him because he had some demons. Me being me, love, all he need is love. Girl, this is my man, this is my husband and I'm gonna love him. And I started to see some things that became very violent. The first was like a phone thrown at my head. And, you know, I just kind of looked over it. Second, it was what? My phone was drowned in a tub. Then it was me being kicked out of a house naked with no clothes on and left outside. And then it was, if you tell, you're never gonna sing because I own you. I own the rights to you. You'll never sing. So it was staying in this situation so that I could sing. And eventually, it was just a day in Memphis, Tennessee, and it all hit the fan. 